Hello everyone, this is Brady with NVIDIA and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add text to a video online. This is all going to be done with an online video editor called NVIDIA. The link will be in the description for you guys to follow along. With that being said, let's get started. Once you've actually clicked the link in the description, you want to go to the top right and you want to hit sign up. This is all free information and then you guys are ready to go. Once you've actually signed up, you're going to be greeted with the screen. Now you want to go ahead and hit blank canvas and then here you can actually check your dimensions, which one you want. I'm going with 16 by 9 then you want to click make a video. Once you've actually clicked make a video, you're going to be greeted with this screen. You want to make sure you actually delete both these default things because you're not going to be needing them. And then you want to go to the top left and hit upload media. This is where we're going to upload the clip you're going to be putting the text on. Once that is uploaded, you just want to take your clip, drag and drop it onto here and you can see this is actually a trim menu. Where where you can trim it to your liking. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit useful video. I'm gonna make sure the audio is actually muted because I don't want it. And I'm gonna hit useful video. So once you actually have your clip uploaded, the first thing you're gonna be dealing with is the left side text right here. So once you've actually clicked on that, you're gonna be greeted with some default text options like adding a heading. You'll see when you actually add it, it's just going to be placing some default text here. But obviously that's just default text. So if you wanna get a little bit more creative, there is tons and tons of ways over here. As you guys can see, there is actually social media credits. So if you guys would want something like your Instagram handle on here, it's going to be right here. Here for you to edit free you know of charge obviously and then you're gonna see that there's location boxes as well so if you were to go to let's say North Carolina for example you're going to see that there is going to be just a text box right here for you and then there's even more with music Halloween you name it you guys can actually find search boxes as well there's tons and tons of actual default templates for you to choose from I went ahead and deleted everything besides this Instagram handle here and you guys can see when I click on the text it's going to bring up this little cross thing obviously that means you can move it by clicking down the mouse button but also if you would want to actually make it bigger or readjust it you can just take it by the corner drag it up like that and you're gonna see that it will readjust the logo and the size without breaking the resolution down also the top button up here is for rotate in case you wanted to scale it off now I'm actually gonna keep it at zero degrees because I want it to just be you know straight up and down now you guys are gonna see that I actually went ahead and put a border around this all you have to do to do any anything with editing the text whether that's the font color you want to do a transition where it phases in it actually looks really really nice on the social handles all you gotta do is click the text you want to work with and then you're gonna see this menu pop up on the right side that's gonna show you your font size your line height your styles your default everything right here but where it gets interesting you can actually change the text obviously right here if you want to you don't want to double click there's also colors you can change the text color the box color you can even make it so it doesn't look as strong here there's also a drop shadow which you can put on which is actually on right now to give the black a little bit more of a pop you can also change the color on that if you want to. But where it gets really nice is the animation where you can animate it in or out. You can also make it so it's just one character or a few characters. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I did. I actually put this animation on one second, so it phases in a second late. And I put this one on two seconds, so you're going to see exactly what that looks like, just to kind of show you what you can do with some of the text. So if you see here, if I hit play, you're going to see that text placeholder is going to pop up, and then Brady is going to slowly phase in just like that. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys, um, the game clip. But as you guys can see, if I click on this, you can also, you know, if you click on the text, you can also see that there is a text box animation. So if you want to actually line that up with the Instagram thing, for example, you want to make sure they are the exact same time so it doesn't just sit there and then the text comes up. So you'll see now if I actually hit play from the jump, you will see that they both come in at around the exact same time. If you're going to be using a lot of these tools and you're going to be using a lot of text, you want to make sure you actually use the timeline button. This is going to be a lifesaver. You're going to actually see that all your stuff is right here. So it's actually easier to click and manage instead of trying to click everything on the screen and readjusting it and messing things up. When you can just see that there is music, background, all your all your media is going to be here for you to edit. And you're going to actually see that when you click it, you can still change the text box animation and animations here. You can also feel free to drag your text over, for example, the Brady. So it actually phases in much, much later. Later. So if I hit play here, you're going to see that text place order pops up and then it actually starts the phase in just like that. So that's very, very easy and very, very simple for you to use. Once you actually are satisfied with your project, you want to go ahead to the top right, hit download and share. It's going to bring up this export menu. You want to click export. It will load into your export menu where it will start rendering your scene out. There's also a download button where you can go ahead and download it straight from here or you can even use the share video. Um, option where you can actually share everything just from straight from a video if you guys have any questions or need any help in the bottom right you will see that there actually is a live chat where you can talk with video professionals about video editing even pricing and billing if you feel free to actually upgrade your subscription but everything is right here and they will get back to you as soon as they can and they are a great help if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful in any way, make sure you, of course, like it. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell right up here. If you guys want to learn how to actually make more thumb-stopping videos using NVIDIA, there will be a playlist to tons of video tutorials with this online free editor. With that being said, I'm Brady with NVIDIA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.